Hello, entrepreneurs. Uh, today's topic is about inhabitant tax. Inhabitant tax is withheld from your study every month, but what is it? I think many people are thinking about it, and many people don't about don't know about it. So, today I will talk about your personal individual tax in Japan. So, so first of all, uh, what is uh, inhabitant tax? So, inhabitant tax is levied based on your previous year's incomes. So if you don't have an income in last year, you don't have to pay the inhabitant tax this year. And the inhabitant tax rate is 10% of the taxable income, which is not which is kind of high. And also if you have the address out of January 1st, you have to pay you have the obligation to pay the inhabitant tax. So if you don't have address in Japan as of January 1st, for example 2016, uh, you don't have to pay the tax, inhabitant tax for 2016. And the inhabitant tax is a local tax, so you pay to the cities where you live, uh, where you live as of January 1st. So uh, though who do not have to pay the inhabitant tax? The case one is no address in Japan case. For example, if you come to Japan in 2016, you will not have address out of January 1st, 2016. So you don't have to pay the tax in Japan in 2016. The other case is no taxable income last year. If you are a student and just graduate university and uh, get a job at your companies, no. You have not had any incomes when you are at the school, so the first year at your comp at the new companies, you are not you don't have to pay the withholding inhabitant tax. The company will not withhold inhabitant tax. But from the second year, the you have to uh, the company will withhold your inhabitant tax from your salary. So uh, how the inhabitant tax are paid, uh, you know, the company has the obligation to withhold inhabitant tax from the employee, employee's salary. This is not a choice, this is an obligation, you, the company must do it. And, uh, but if the employee, employee left the company's, you know, the company is not paying a salary, so employee have to pay by themselves. So if you leave the if you leave the companies that you will receive the payment slip from the cities and you will surprise that's kinda of expensive because it's based on your last year's income. So even you if you don't have any income this year, you still have to pay the tax. And the payment deadline is uh, is four times four times in a year, June thirty and August thirty first and October thirty first and January 31st. Thank you for listening. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed this channel. If you like it, please subscribe. See you next time.